Good morning, true believers. It's a Wednesday morning over here in the Philippines, and uh, we are here back in Don Bosco. If you remember last year, this is where our school got a shellacking here from Don Bosco, where the score was like 17 1 or 17 0. So uh, as you can see why they're so good is because they just train all year round versus our school They just train once They just train during the school year, but as you can see during the summer they're training here also, so That's why every time we run into them in any of these tournaments. They're always winning first place and I'm kind of from the school that if you can't beat them, you try to beat them, but if you really can't beat them, join them. And they're, they're the only ones right now that are having a summer clinic. We don't have anything going on in our school. The puppies only train on the weekends, and Stallion only trains like once a week. So it's just not enough. So we added this one also. They train Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 7 to 9. They're so their fee schedule is about 300 or six 300 pesos or six dollars per training session and it's not that far we just but we just have to pay also there's a toll over here also which is 20 pesos so it's 50 cents so that's what we're up to this morning we just wanted to add and uh, so he's got actually what how many so he plays for the stallions he plays for the puppies he's play for he plays for his school and now he's playing for Don Bosco Schwartz football club Don Bosco and I told the coach we don't have anything there's nothing going on in our school this summer so that's why we are here so it's good to be with uh, a winning culture as you could see there the problem with their the same problem with their grass also it's it's dry and it's very hard so what we're we're using is this soft ground the one that Michael B got his nemesis because those the studs on those are metal and even though they're getting worn down pretty good they can be replaced versus his other ones once these they're they're worn down the shoes are, are sh football shoes without spikes are pretty much useless so that's what we're at the update with this morning. We are joining our nemesis here, the Don Bosco Football Club, the Don Bosco Schwartz Football Club. Here's with our hero over there. Okay, the point of this exercise is passing and decision making. You have to move, pass, and then move to the middle. Yeah, which our hero needs help with decision making when he's passing. Okay, scrimmage. This is what we came here for. I mean, Hero and I can only train so much on our own, but he needs to play with other kids so he can get used to the flow of the game and develop his style. So just play, play the game. Let's just play. Goal. Hey! 
Hello True Believers, this is Babbitt's Only doing another review. I'm probably going to do these reviews on a separate channel, I think, or I, like I said, we're going to be doing a lot of changes and probably like the Babbitt's Only type videos are all going to be unlisted. I'm just not going to upload them anymore. So I'm just going to stick to these kind of general reviews. And what's important over here is safety and particularly what we're reviewing is safety goggles and what's available here in the Philippines and this is something that our kids use for sports soccer or football to be specific and the problems we have and uh, so this is currently what's available this is what our hero uses he has a very high pr uh, prescription like in the Four or five hundreds now and so this is what he kind of uses but they were becoming too small for his face as you can see so we got something bigger but the problem with these is that or the problem with these ones is the strap flies off so you've seen videos where he got he would get hit in the head or hit in the face and this this the strap would just fly off and come off it the, the uh, this part right here just snaps off very easily uh, well not right now but when it hits just right then it'll just come off as, as you can see I can take it off with one hand easily so that was the problem with this one and the biggest problem we had with it's like I said this was becoming too small for his face as he was getting bigger and the next biggest problem is so these 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 things are not locked down, the straps are not locked down. And the other biggest problem with it was this silicone, I don't know if you could see, let's zoom in. The silicone padding over here, as you could see, just starts tearing off or wearing off and then all you got all of a sudden is like this hard plastic part right here up in your nose instead of this soft silicone part. And as you can see it doesn't even last a season it'll only last a couple of months because he uses these every day so it's pushed up against his face and then it gets pushed off pushed off and then you got this hard plastic all of a sudden now irritating his his face so that was the, that was the biggest problem with these and then we started and I noticed that the same problem also started happening with these over here also as you can see so we, when we buy glasses, we usually buy two pairs, one a spare, and in case any, if breaks, if anything goes wrong during the game, and he can't see, he has nothing to use, so we'll get another one. And then, so this was this, the second pair. The biggest problem with these is they're very expensive. You have to buy them from an optical over here, and it's... $50 so if you buy one for $50 you buy another one for $50 it's like all of a sudden it's like a hundred bucks so thank you very much for our friends for sponsoring these safety goggles prescription safety goggles plus another so it's 50 bucks plus another 50 bucks for the prescription so you're talking about a hundred I think around a hundred or maybe hundred and twenty dollars for one pair of prescription safety goggles so you couple it with two, all of a sudden you're spending like $220, $240. So you're looking at $500 of safety goggles over here. And it won't even last a season, as you can see, because this, it's, it, it only lasts a couple of months because we use these every day. We practice every day and we use them every day. We exercise every day. So this is the other biggest problem. So the two biggest problems with these is number one, or three biggest problems. Number one, the strap comes off when he gets hit in the face so that's kind of dangerous so it's it flies off it's like breaks away so you want it to stay on your face number two the silicone is not as you can see it's consistently not staying on and number three is it's very expensive fifty dollars just for this that's not going to even last one season of football is ridiculous so what I started doing was I started researching online for what else is available out there. I mean, we have to get these because our hero can't see and he needs to play almost every day. So I started looking online and I, I was looking at Amazon at the different goggles they had available. And I settled, I decided to try this one over here. 
and they're kind of similar to other goggles but they're they're in different brands so this one is the Bertha, Bertha Outdoor Safety Sports Goggles for, fat, for basketball, football, volleyball, baseball, etc. And the best part about it is it's like only $16 compared to $50. So I said, what a deal. And we had these, we actually had them shipped to us. So we have one right here. We, I actually got two since they were so cheap. I mean, I could buy three of these for one of these. So we decided to get two and we're actually getting one made or put, put a prescription on, on it. So we got a gray version and a camouflage version. So this is what the gray version looks like. So it's kind of clear, kind of a smoky clear look to it. So we got that and we got the prescription for it. So the first thing you want to notice is the case. It's nice and big. It's got this big Bertha Sports on it. It's got this nice solid strap. It looks like it's not something that's gonna fall off right away. And it's got the Bertha label here. Bertha badging over here, Bertha Sports. So solid case and notice the zipper. It's very smooth versus the ones we got locally watch it's not that smooth it's kind of snags as you can see versus the local cases so the one we got over here from amazon for for amp for american consumption it's very smooth so let's take a look at the contents inside and I'll let you know what why i chose this so look at the 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 local brand as you can see, it doesn't have any padding in it. This one has some padding right off the bat right there. And this one is the camouflage version. So before we get into the main event, let's talk about the extras that come with it. So I told you already the biggest problem. So let's, you know what, let's review the rest of the case over here. Right, we'll talk about the accessories. So they got this nice foam padding right here. So the glasses sits right on there like that. So compared to the local brand, it doesn't even have padding in the middle to keep it stable. So it's got the padding in the middle. So very solid case. We're, um, we're very, I'm very happy with it. So very nice case. So here is, so the biggest problem uh, you know, let's get to the accessories later. Let's get to the goggles themselves. Like I said, the biggest problem what we had with the glasses was number one, the strap would break off once he would get hit. So this one is not going to break off. Uh, and I'll demonstrate to you why it's locked down. Okay, so this is the camouflage version. We just wanted something different versus there's also a matte black, regular black, and a blue version. The blue version kind of looks kind of too toyish, so decided to go with the camouflage just to be different. So it looks kind of cool. So the biggest problem also, the other biggest problem, so this, this, this is locked down, so it's not going to come off. There's a locking mechanism. The other problem the, these glasses have is the silicone is right here. There's a lot of pressure over here. Now, with this one, as you can see, it's how, what makes it different is all the padding is distributed across the face also. Not just this part right over here, but also over here. So it provides, as you can see how thick it is, it provides pretty substantial nose protection. I mean, for Filipino noses, this is pretty good, not for American noses. But if you get hit right over here, most of the shock will be absorbed by the glasses. Because it's, it's, look how thick it is. So you've got this much, focus properly. I don't understand why this camera just wants to focus on the background instead of the subject. But as you can see how that there's that much bridge, nose bridge to be protected because it's so thick. Okay. So for most Filipino noses, it's, it's even got because of the thickness by default, it's got some nose protection. I mean, it, it's, it, it's not meant for nose protection, but I just want to point out that there's enough space over there to protect most Filipino small noses because we have very small bridges on our nose. 
So that was like one of the things that made me decide to say, oh yes, this is the one that we're going to try out. I said, and the best part about it, like I said, for only $16, you're not, it's really not much of a risk when you're just, when it's that cheap versus this one over here for $50. So that was a nice feature that's, so the lockdown on the strap over here on the side is a, is a great positive and the distribution of this is a great positive. And another thing that I liked about it was the side. There's uh, all the other glasses, you have this kind of frame over here on the side that kind of obstructs your view. While this one is pretty much has an open side over here so there's no obstruction of your peripheral vision. And the best thing about this also is this lens is replaceable. You could replace it with a prescription. We usually get the prescription with anti-fog, anti-UV, and kind of air wear that's kind of light, that's not too heavy. So, and this is the color. So it's, it, it checks off all the requirements that we want. Heavy duty nose piece over here or face piece lockdown strap on the side and the extras is also this this clear part over here for no obstruction or peripheral vision and it lets air breathe in at the same time so less perspiration building up so now let's talk about the other pluses it doesn't stop there as if this is like an infomercial it keeps going let's talk about the other accessories okay so for $16, not only do you get a heavy duty solid, it's even got a, I think, lifetime warranty if it breaks or something like that. I'll have to look it up. But anyway, for $16, if it lasts a season, uh, I mean, you get your money's worth right there. So I'll have to look at what the warranty is over here. So if you look at the details over here, it says, focus. It's got a, let me see if I can just read it. It's, it says hard PC anti-impact lenses. Okay, we're not gonna be using that. Elastic strap, soft silicone nose pad, so comfortable. Windproof, dustproof, anti-fog lenses. To, uh, it could be replaced with prescription, okay. Uh, okay, so it says uh, Bertha products offer 100% money back guarantee. Okay, I didn't really see where, see if there's any warranty information on here. Fashion, stylish. Care, product details. Okay, it doesn't say. But anyway. Back to the review over here. So now let's get to the other accessories that we get with it. Like I said, the first thing that usually breaks down is the nose piece. And, or in this situation, the face piece. And as you can see, it comes with an extra one. So if this one breaks down and you start digging through the plastic, you've got another one already ready to place it right over here just in case. And if you look at the mechanism of how it goes on, it, it pretty much snaps into place and in, it's secured by these, there's a tab over here, there's a tab over here, and then there's this tab over here that locks it down. Ah. Focus tabs over here, then tabs over here at the end. So lots of places for it to to securely stay on. And if you look over here, it's got the space. It's got the space right here, so so it for it to absorb some impact. So great impact protection over here. So love it already for sixteen bucks. Comes with this, and it feels solid. Feels nice and thick and durable i mean only time will tell but i mean it's, it can't be worse than these over here so like that and then also you get the one of the worst things about these things is you, you are, are the kids get sweaty a lot and this thing tends to smell pretty bad and needs to be washed often but no worries because where is that? 
Oh, here we go. There's an extra strap over here. So let me open it for you. So it comes with two straps actually. So we get a gray strap and a black strap that has Bertha on it. So that's a nice feature in case this gets kind of raw and raunchy, smelling from all the sweat and the bacteria working on it, then you get to, you can wash these and get these and use these ones. Uh, so while one is being washed and drying, you could use the other one so you could always continually, continuously use it. So those are your two major problems over here. The sweaty, the sweaty band over here and then also the silicone nose piece. So the fact that you get two included for $16, what a great value. So it doesn't end there. So what well, also we have over here is a cleaning cloth. So it feels pretty good. It has kind of the chamois feel to it. So you can clean your lenses nicely with this. So very nice that includes a cleaning cloth. And, it, and look how big it is. It's pretty big. It's not one of these tiny ones as you can see. So another value to this thing. And let's keep going here. It comes with a case. So a soft case. So it's pretty big. Yeah. That's an extra one. So it's got Bertha on it right here. So you could, let me show you what it looks like. Does it have any additional pockets? No. So you just kind of stick that in there. And you've got a soft case if you don't want to bring the hard case. Okay. So you've got a soft case. And then also, I don't think this is really necessary, but you've got this mini repair kit over here. And it's got a straight and a Phillips at the end. So this one is the straight mini screwdriver over here. And then over here on the other side is the kind of Phillips type of screwdriver on the other end. But what's kind of strange is it's nice that they included this, but you don't need it for the sports goggles because I was I was looking at it and how it works how the mechanism works over here so let's okay hold up so I was looking at how the me the mechanism of this thing works or how to apply on the how to change the lenses and you don't need this for it. You don't need a tool for it. For this, for the nose piece, you don't need a tool for it. It doesn't screw on because it just it just latches on from over here. So what you do is prob looks like you just pop it right there and then it comes off. So maybe you could use the the straight blade of the screwdriver to kind of pry these open, but for screwing there's it's not necessary. So I haven't tried this yet, but let's try. So, yeah, so what I would just do is just to, to take these off is just pop it off right there without breaking it. Oh, okay, I see. So what you wanna do is you wanna pop this up. Oh, you wanna pop these first. There. So pop these first without breaking it. So what you want what you want to do is untab these at the end like so. Then once that's done, then you could pretty much push this up like that. So these tabs at the end secure it in place. And that's pretty much to protect your face. Now these are very important because you want to have this is the important part of the protection over here because it distributes the impact around and you don't want to be wearing I've seen people in soccer play with regular glasses and it makes me cringe because you could really if you get hit in the face you could you could damage your the the nose pad part can can 
dig into your eyes. So that's kind of the scary part. So that's how easy it is to replace. And then over here, the mechanism to for, for it to replace the goggles or the lenses is fairly easy. There's this mechanism over here. Oh, you know what? Before we get to that, let's talk about the strap. So the strap is pretty simple. There's a there's an opening right over here, right in the middle. So there's there's an anyway. There's an opening right there in the middle. All you have to do is guide the strap through, and you can easily take this off. So you could wash this. Like so, sorry if it's not focusing. So the best technique to do is just kind of get it started. I don't know if you can see that properly, but anyway, just get just get one part in and get it through that hole right there, through that gap right there, and then you could replace the strap. And the strap, it's it's your your standard strap. You could adjust it by this 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 part right over here so you just kind of pull this and then it pretty much securely stays on after you adjust it like so so that's how you take off the strap so that's how you take off the strap and that's how you take off the the face piece and nose piece okay and then you've got the extra one so you got the extra strap over here so if you want a gray one or a black one it doesn't really matter as long as it's clean or doesn't smell so bad after all that sweating then you've got your two those pieces over here and only still 16 bucks compared to so like i said we got two one is at the optical shop now getting the prescription lenses and you got this case and even though you don't need it you got this tool kit and then you got this cleaning cloth so now let's get to the lens over here how you can get it off because it has a very simple mechanism but you have to know exactly what you're doing so you don't so what you want to do is push this up right here come on focus stop focusing on the foreground i mean stop focus. there you go so what you want to do is there's like this little tab over here and what that does is what you want to do is you want to turn it all the way this way. So it, it, there's if it's locked, it lies down flat. So I don't know if you can see that. So it, 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 so it turns. So once it's turned that way, it's unlocked. And then if you want to lock it again, you have to squeeze it together. And then because this thing is on the way squeeze it together and then lock it down like that and then have it covered by the silicone side strap over here that's how it secures but if you want to open it up you kind of push push up like that and then push it like that out again to unlock it and once that's unlocked like that you can now spread this apart like this so now it spreads apart So make sure that's down completely. And now you can spread this apart, This me the mechanism right here. It's staying together because of the, the silicone. But that actually comes out like that. And now you can replace, You can, now the lens comes off. And this is how this thing stays on. So this thing is not going to come off because it's locked down. So yeah, I could... So now you can replace this part over here if you want, but for $16, you might as well replace the whole thing. But I'm just telling you how everything is movable and interchangeable. I, and how it's locked into place because of this locking mechanism right here. So that is pretty cool. And the fact that it's the grooves over here can accommodate all to, I mean, all to most lenses. 
So that's so you can put your prescription in there. And once it's locked down, so let me demonstrate. Here, as you can see how it works now. So that's so you can see over here how it slides. Focus. Focus. So you put in the prescription lens right here. There. And without that rubber piece or the silicone piece, you could see how this locks down like that. So you push it down like that and it's pretty much locked in. Now probably the only disadvantage is this plastic piece. It better, it better be very durable, but at least it locks it down. So the lens is locked down, so this thing is not going anywhere. It won't pop off like these. If you get hit right at the right place, at the, just at the right angle, this, this thing will pop off, the lens will pop off because there's no locking mechanism. It's just kind of placed in there by pressure and friction. But this over here, you've got an actual locking mechanism. The grooves in there keep it nice and locked in place. And this mechanism over here keeps it nice and locked. So if you do get hit, this thing is not going to move. And like I said, it's made out of this solid plastic. So lots of protection over here. Okay, so there's really no instructions and, and I had to figure this out myself, but it was, it, it was, it was basic. I just kind of saw, Hey, that looks like it's supposed to move. So, come on. so let's put it all back together now, now that you saw how it comes off. So now you just put this tab right back out. So there's like this, this groove right inside this opening right inside. So you can open it like so like that okay now you can put the lens in now you can put the this side i don't think there's there i think they're both the same um, i mean you can just kind of pretty much put it in any any side you want it looks like it's pretty much it's kind of bent a little bit so it's supposed to go this way all right so that's how it works. So you put this in like this. I think the best thing probably do is to put it, put this up in here first, because it'll probably be easier without breaking it. So get this right up on here, up, up here first. It's probably the hard part. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm just trying to. I'm just putting this. In for the first time, let's get the lens out of the way, but don't break it because it's not like that. Like I said, it's not the price; it's just getting it shipped over here is the is the difficult part. So now that we got that out of the way, now this this part. So just put this. So just kind of slide it in through there. It's kind of it's going to be tricky finding that opening, but just get it to slide in there is going to be the tricky part trying to get that tab to go through the gap please bear with me while i figured this out it might have been easier for me to do it the other way around is it no i don't think so no it's the same so just getting it into okay i see so just getting it in there at the right angle is the difficult part. Now, you know what? Here's what I'll do. There. So what I'll do is I'll squeeze this in first like that so it'll have the right angle. Now all I have to do is kind of finagle it. It's kind of difficult with this silicone piece without breaking. There. So I got it to push in. That's just, it's just getting it through this silicone is the hard part. Okay, once you got that, what you wanna do is you squeeze it together so you can get a nice, and you push this down so it'll clear it and then get this thing up and out. Done.
Problem is I forgot to put the lens on. <laughs> That's no big deal. So same thing. Once you... Okay, put the lens on. I went over my 30 minute limit. But it's, it's easy to put the lens on like that. Okay, and then just have it locked down. Once the lens is in, you can lock it down then by pushing this out like that. And then push the silicone strap back down to cover it, protect it so it doesn't move. There you go. Strap all set. And then you want to change it to this gray strap. So all you have to do is sneak it in like that. Very easy. It's all about technique. That's my that's what my how was it physics? High school teacher always says it's all about technique. If you got good technique, it's going to be very easy. All technique. So get that in, and then get this other side part down, and get it all the way inside to clear, like that. And then bam, got the strap on one side. Same thing. Same thing with the other side over here. No, I don't know why it won't focus properly, but you get the idea. Very simple how you get around. And and this is, I think this is one of the common designs out there right now. So strap is well placed in, it's locked in. You can adjust it over here with a very this very simple mechanism over here. And that strap is not gonna go anywhere even if it gets hit. This these lenses are not gonna go anywhere. And now the most important piece over here is this nose piece, face piece. So what you want to do first is slide this tab. There's like this really tiny tab over here, which is probably the most weakest point over here. So what you want to do is same thing. You just kind of slide it down like that. It's supposed to slide it. Well, actually, probably the best thing to do is tab these ends first. So let me tab this first like that. It just snaps down real quick. Tab it like that. Also, you might hear a snap or you might not. I didn't hear a snap in this one, but that first one you heard a snap. This one I heard a snap. And this one does a snap. There. And just to make sure that it's secure, just try to lift it up. And if it doesn't lift up, then you're good to go. So no plastic, no hard plastic hitting the face. Now the, the last part over here is just getting this to come up like that. Have it hook on and just slide it in like that. So once, and then push that down and this nose piece right there should come up flat there you go that's how you break down one of these uh, Bertha sports goggles how you replace the nose piece how you replace the lenses even even if this strap you want to replace and how to replace the strap itself and perfect highly recommended what a great value for $16 you get so much for it that's why I had to try it and I had to get two because it it takes such a long time for it to get over here and we'll try this out for one season and we'll let you know how, what it's like. The only downside is there is no downside other than the size. This thing is for adult faces. I mean for our hero it's fine because he's a pretty big boy right now. So he'll grow into it just fine. It doesn't look that big. But if you have small children, I think you definitely, this is for adult size faces already. It fits me. And our hero, like I said, is already growing so big now. I think he's like five, six now. Any Anybody over uh, probably five, five would probably, the, this is, would be the right size for their face or they could grow into it. But for smaller kids that I know need 
goggles i think this might be too big fortunately this is actually the right size even though it's okay for it to be a little bit bigger so you'll have a lot of viewing space but for small children i think it's just too big that's the only down part but for us it's not a down part because it's just the right size like i said I can't believe at first I was doubtful because of that price. How can you really, with all those extras, how can you really justify it? But here it is. Uh, reviewing it right now and it's everything that they said. It's durable. We'll try it out. It feels just as solid as, as these other ones, these $50 ones for only $15.99. So the final word on this is, even though we haven't tried it because we have no prescription, but are my initial impressions of it is it's highly recommended for the price. Like I said, if you've got like a big kid now and they need sports goggles for basketball, volleyball, I would even wear this even, even though I don't have prescriptions just to protect my eyes, especially for kids, especially if you have kids that are accident prone like ours, is perfect for it. So you can pick them up at Amazon for only $15.99. And like I said, my favorite part about it is the accessories, how everything is locked down. It's got the replaceable strap. And this is the thing that breaks down the most. You've got a replacement for it already when it does. So it, it so it's gonna last longer than these other ones that don't have a replacement i don't i don't even know what to do with these now that this, the nose piece are is breaking off it's not like you can buy these extra ones but the good thing is with these after even if they do break down i you can just buy another one for only 15.99 and have a whole new sports goggles anyway that's my review Thanks everyone for watching. If you enjoyed it, if you find it inform if you found it informative, if you found it entertaining, please give it a like, give it a subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next review. This is Bevel Tony, reviewing this Bertha Sports Goggles. Thanks again for watching. See you at the next review.